Hello and welcome to Message in a Moment. Uh, wherever you are around the world, I want to tell you something that, that there is a God and He loves you. And He wants to touch your life today, no matter what you're going through. I, I want to look at, at something that I think is so interesting. It's motivation. Uh, motivation has a root word that means motion. What keeps you going. And so I, I look at Jesus and I wonder what kept Him knowing and going and flowing. I think there's a couple of things. One, I believe that he had, the, he had heaven's purpose as his agenda. All he wanted to do was to please the Father. But there's something else that I believe happened in his life. And I'll read to you from the book of Mark, chapter 1, verse 9 through 11. It says, when Jesus came to Nazareth of Galilee, he was baptized by John in the Jordan. And straightway coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens opened and the spirit like a dove descending upon him. And there came a voice from heaven saying, Thou art my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. See, I believe that had, along with Jesus' purpose, I believe that had a motivating factor in the heart of Jesus. He wasn't just by himself on earth in this ministry. He was working in connection, in tandem with the Father God. And I love that word, you are my much loved son. Now, it, there's an interesting prayer that Jesus prayed. It's found in John chapter 17. It, many people call it the high priestly prayer of Jesus. It's when he makes a recap of all that he's done on earth in his ministry. And he talks about his glory with the Father before the world was. But then he says something that is extremely interesting. He prays in John chapter 17 in his prayer, but verses 20 through 23, he said, Lord, as, Father, as you have loved me, I want you to love them. That's, that is all the followers of Jesus Christ. And so the, today, here's what I'd like to say to you. What could keep you knowing and going and flowing? I'll tell you this. Let your agenda be focused on heaven. And then let your ear hear the Father as he says, You are much loved. And I'm well pleased to love you. Now, if you have not received that love, I implore you today, reach out and receive the love of God and let him come and flood your heart with love. This will be the greatest day of your life. Till we meet again, God bless you.